going to be doing one of the weirdest chemical reactions I've ever oh seen. My. It started with this, I'll get a dish, and I'll add a mixture of sulfuric acid and sodium bromate, followed by a solution of malonic acid and water. All right, in nuclear terms, this is a bit like setting up your reactor coolant and neutron absorber mix. Then into this, I'll shoot in a solution of water and sodium bromide, and it almost immediately turns yellow. This is as if your delayed neutron precursor suddenly kicked in, and you're getting a reaction. This is just a bit of bromine forming, and I'll have to mix it around and wait for it to- Just a bit of bromine. <laughs> All right disappear. Now I can add the final ingredient, which is some Ferwin indicator. This doesn't make the reaction run, but it's kind of like putting in your instrumentation system so you can see it. I also have to mix this around until it looks pretty even, and after that, I just have to wait. Uh, the chemist version of a reactor startup. There is a lot of do something and then wait till you achieve criticality. At first, not very much was happening, but then I started seeing some small Here little spots go. appearing. Even more of them then started popping oh, wow. up, and they were all getting bigger and bigger. This is kind of like reactor power oscillations when different sections of the core get a little out of sync. What's going on here is called a bela usov zabotinsky reaction, and it's still one of the weirdest reactions I've ever seen. Basically a little dish pretending to be a nuclear reactor. So instead of neutrons multiplying, you got chemical intermediates feeding back into each other, and color changes instead of megawatts. But the underlying principle is the same. Delayed feedback loops in a non-linear system causing beautiful oscillation. 